Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Vamsik Chetty, pursuing second year being in Sri Vengdeshwara College of Engineering, Bangalore. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the major topic in the advanced mathematics that is exponential distribution. The main agenda in this video to discuss about the definition of the exponential distribution the probability density function of the exponential distribution, the mean and the variance formula for the exponential distribution and some of the basic problems we are going to discuss on the exponential distribution and we are going to discuss about the applications of the exponential distribution mainly in the CS stream and the some of the limitations we, we can see in the exponential distribution. So these are the concepts we are going to cover in this video. Let's start the video. First, the definition of the exponential distribution. The basic definition of the exponential distribution is given here. That is the continuous random variable x has an exponential distribution with parameter beta. If its density function is given by f of x comma beta is equals to 1 by beta e power minus x by beta where x greater than 0 or 0 for all the other values. Here the beta value is will be always greater than the 0. Here the graph of the exponential distribution is given here where the graphs of several exponential distribution are shown in the given particular diagram. For spe certain specified values of parameters alpha and beta uh, special distribution for which alpha equals to 1 called as exponential distribution. Whenever the distribution, whenever in this distribution where the alpha value equals to 1 then the distribution is called as the exponential distribution. Let's move on to the next the probability density function using the exponential distribution. The probability density function of a exponential distribution is a mathematical function that describes the probability of the continuous random variable taking on a certain value. In other words, it tells us how likely it is for a specific event to occur within a certain time frame. Where the time formula for the probability density function of the exponential distribution is the f of x lambda e power minus lambda x. Where lambda is the rate parameter and x is the time variable. And the probability density function of the exponential distribution can be used uh, to calculate a likelihood of a customer arriving with a certain time frame. This information can be useful for predicting wait times and optimizing the staffing levels. The next we are going to discuss about the mean and variance. Where the mean and variance of the exponential distribution is given here. Where the mean equals to mu is equals to beta where the mu mu value equals to beta and the variance formula is also given here where the sigma square equals to beta square the mean we can discuss now that is the mean is equals to beta and the variance equals to beta square and we are going to discuss about the problems based on the exponential distribution the most of the problems are going to discuss on the mean and variance only that is given here the one common problem related to exponential distribution is finding the mean and variance. The mean of an exponential distribution equals to the reciprocal of the rate parameter that is lambda while the variance is equals to the square of the reciprocal of the rate parameter. And another common problem is calculating the probabilities related to the exponential distribution. For example, you want to find the probability that an event will occur within a certain time frame or the probability of waiting for a certain amount of time before an event occurs. These are the some of the problems we can going to discuss about the exponential distribution. And let us discuss about the major that is applications on the exponential distribution that is only in the CS stream that is machine learning in some applications involving the natural language processing and machine learning. The exponential distribution has been used to model word frequencies, document lengths or time intervals between the user action in user behavior model. This is, this is the application we are going to discuss in the machine learning. 
Now next one is the network trafficking modeling. The exponential distribution is used to model the inter arrival times of packets in network traffic. Understanding and the modeling these arrivals patterns can help in designing and optimizing the network architectures such as routers and switchers to handle the very loads effectively. On the exponential distribution can also be used in the network traffic modeling for the so for the optimizing the network architecture such as routers and switches to handle everything varying loading effectively and some some more uh, applications are the perform analysis in perform analysis and benchmarking of computer system the exponential distribution is used to model various matrices like resp response times service times or execution times these are the these are the response time, service times and the execution time can be uh, calculated by using the exponential distribution which helps uh, in the performance of the computer architecture. This helps in understanding the system behavior and predicting the performance under the different workloads. And the another application is that the software testing. In certain software testing scenarios, defects or the debugs may appear at the random intervals the time between the discovery of defects can be modeled using an exponential distribution which can assist in estimating the mean time to failure and identifying the potential bottlenecks. In the software testing we can detect the bugs can by the mean formula of the exponential distribution also. And some more applications are the queuing systems which can be the exponential distribution also used in the queuing systems. The computer networks are processed by various devices or servers. The time between arrivals or between successful completions of tasks often follows an exponential distribution. This property allows engineer to model and optimize the performance of the queuing systems, ensuring the efficient resource allocation and minimizing the delays. With the help of the exponential distribution we can also use this uh, exponential distribution in the queuing system which helps allows engineers to model optimize the performance of the queuing systems and the final are the last applications of the uh, exponential distribution in the cs in uh, cs team that is in the engineering background that is sensor networks and the iot the time intervals between the sensor events such as measurements or readings in the sensor networks or the Internet of the Things applications can be mod modeled using the exponential distribution. This is essential in designing and optimizing the power management protocols and the data aggregation technique techniques. The, ex uh, the exponential distribution also can be used in the sensor networks that is essential in designing and optimizing the power management protocols and data aggregation techniques. These are the some of the applications which can be used by using the uh, exponential distribution. There are also some limitations in the exponential distribution where the while exponential distribution is a powerful tool for modeling certain types of events it does have some limitations that must be taken into consideration. One of the main limitation is that it assumes events occur independently of each other which may not always be the case in the real life scenarios. This is the main limitations of the exponential distribution. One more limitation is given here that is the another limitation of the exponential distribution is that it assumes a constant rate of occurrence which may not always be the case. For instance, we are modeling the time between the equipment failures in a factory. The rate of failure may change over time due factors such as wear and tear for maintenance the schedules. These are the some of the limitations uh, by the exponential distribution with the uh, where the exponential distribution has the major applications with uh, around uh, limited uh, limitations and uh, that's it for this video for uh, thank you and uh, for more videos please like the channel subscribe the channel and share this video as much as possible thank you